In high school, I was invisible. But I'm learning now that I am not as invisible as I thought I was. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah, and if you are enjoying my videos so far, then please leave a like. And if you are enjoying me, then subscribe. And to anyone who is interested in chatting with me, I have a Discord where I talk to my members, and we have contests, and we do lots of fun things all the time. And that link down is down in the description. So, I moved to my current town when I was a junior in high school. I was a junior, and I did not know anyone except for my cousin i pretty much kept to myself and i didn't really want anyone looking at me differently because i was new i didn't like that i just wanted to get through high school and you know leave this town i want to leave this town and never come back ever again like i was that kind of kid i still kind of am um i wasn't gonna make any friends and i you know, I didn't want to, so I wouldn't feel bad about leaving or whatever. And of course, it, it didn't work that way, but that's what I wanted. So I did my time. I did my time in high school. I trudged through high school and, you know, I did it day by day. I just kept going. I kept going. And the classes were so easy compared to my last school, so I wasn't really interested in paying that much attention to anything. So I basically just danced through high school, like, it was super easy, nothing really complicated, I just went with it. You know, it was fine, I was fine with that. Um, I made a few friends throughout my stay, um, who some, some of them I still keep in touch with. I'd rather not, I don't really want to be friends with my high school friends anymore. Um, but I do keep in touch with them because I was a good friend. Uh, but for the most part, you know, I kept my head down. I didn't want to, you know, cause too much attention. So I graduated without any hiccups. And, you know, I made my way into the world. I went to the same college as a few of the kids from my town because it was about an hour, hour and a half away from my town itself. Probably one of the closer colleges. I don't know about any other ones. I went to a community college before, but that... I don't really count that. Um, so I knew a few of the kids who lived on campus, but I never really got to talk to them. So I figured they probably didn't remember me or, you know, weren't interested in talking to me. And I was okay with that. I was fine. So, you know, I didn't talk to them, but I ended up meeting a really fun group and they, you know, they accepted me right away. Like I, it was, um, homestuck that really like i i saw one of them had a homestuck shirt on and i was like oh like the kill bill siren turned on like Wee, pew. like i could see it um but they were super fun and they really helped me get through the entire year and i was only there for a year uh and it was great it was really fun until i had to go back home and when i came home i only had my one friend my cousin and I felt really lonely and I wasn't good I wasn't good friends with her anymore so I didn't really want to hang out with her that much and when she introduced me to my current best friend we kind of hit it off he was somebody I'd known a little bit before that like, my cousin would talk about him every once in a while, and I had kind of met him a few times before. I actually, I had seen him when we were both in high school. He was a few years younger than me, but he said he had seen me around the halls, but I never talked. And I honestly, I was fine with that. Like, I didn't want people to know who I was, what I was, like, what my life was about. No, thank you. Like not interested at that point so he said i never talked and it was true it was very true uh so i kind of started getting to know him and i actually liked who he was i thought it was fun and so i started hanging out with him and his group of friends that decision led me to 
meet a lot of people that I had seen in high school. Seen and not new. Now, I'm not good with names, but faces I can remember. So I started playing video games with him and a few of his friends. And we played a lot of like zombies and I got Overwatch and I started playing with them. And I only knew I only knew him when we started, but I slowly figured out I I only knew him when we started, but I slowly like figured out who was who. And I met one of my friends, Coco. And if you remember that name from the Graveyard Ghost video, that's him. I met him through video games. So I remembered him back in high school. He's a really tall guy, so he's kind of hard to miss, but he wasn't really the only person I had met. I also met my best friend's brother, and he was a guy that I'd never, ever seen anywhere in my class. But he graduated with me. And the thing was, they were both pretty popular when they were in high school, or when we all were in high school. So I didn't really try to talk to him. You know, the whole like, oh, they're better than me kind of thing. So I started going to events where they were all hanging out and I got to meet everyone face to face. That's where I met somebody else who remembered me. I met this girl, Iggy. Not her real name, but you get the drift. And she told me she was Coco's cousin and that she remembered me from back in high school. And I was like astounded. Cause I remembered her face, but I'd never talked to her in school. I apologized and I told her that I didn't remember her. And she laughed it off and she said, well, that was okay. Cause she wasn't, she wasn't a very nice person in high school anyway, but she is nice. Uh, <laughs> nice. She is nice. And I felt bad for not talking to her back when I had seen her. I'm still really shy, so even now when I'm seeing her, I'm not really sure what to talk to her about. And I try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and move past the like, nobody likes me because I'm different kind of like high school mentality. But I know I am different from her. But so what? I actually went on a, a trip with her and my video game group last weekend and we went to the beach and we had a lot of fun. I'll sometimes see somebody at Walmart or the gas station that I recognize and they'll, well, they'll recognize me from like back in high school, but we don't usually stop to have a whole conversation, um, which leads me to today. Today. I went out with my family to look for a car, like an older car just for me. And we drove up to this place way back in the country. And we live in the country, but this was like way out there. And it was like this huge farm complex with a ton of animals. Well, we pulled up and this younger guy meets us near the car that we wanted to look at. And he talked to my parents while I was checking out the car and I wasn't really paying any attention to him. like. I was looking at the car if it was going to be my car. <laughs> I was looking at it, I wanted it to, you know, inspect it. So I wasn't really paying attention to him. I took the car for a test drive and came back and I finally kind of like looked at him. And he was probably like close to my age and he looked like, he looked like familiar, I guess. Like not enough that I know, like I knew his name, like I didn't like, oh, it's like Billy from high school. Like I, I didn't really know him to that point, but like, it was like, maybe I had seen him around town or something. Well, him and my dad talked about the car and I went over to like pet a cat or whatever. Like I, I love cats. So I went over to pet one of the cats that was just kind of like roaming around and him and my dad like just were conversing and I didn't really think to make conversation like I wasn't really interested in talking and I kind of feel bad about that now like I didn't figure that we had known each other you know at least I didn't figure he knew me um, but he told us about what he did and what animals he have and he took us over to see like some of the animals like he had bison and we talked about them for a while and when we started to head out my dad asked him a few more questions and then said so what year did you graduate? And he, he like turned and pointed to me and he said, I, I think we actually, you know, I think we graduated together. And I wasn't sure. So he said, 2013, right? And I was like, uh, like, 
yeah, <laughs> like that was when I had graduated, yeah. And he said, he, he was like, you haven't really been, you know, you hadn't really been there. Because I, mo I moved when I was a junior, so he was like, yeah, you only had like two years here. And I felt bad because he knew who I was. Like, he knew who I was. And I felt bad for not knowing him. Like, I said I didn't really have the time to make a lot of friends when I was in high school, so I just kind of let the conversation die there. And it really astounded me how some people remember me. And I thought when I was in high school that I was quiet and I faded into the background. But apparently I made an impression on a few people who I didn't even know. And I feel bad because for the longest time, I didn't even want to talk to these people because I figured they wouldn't even like talking to me or wouldn't want to be friends, but still they remember me. And it really makes me think, like, did I waste all of my time talking or thinking about people who, or <laughs> did I waste my time thinking that people wouldn't like me in high school because I could have spent all that time talking to them. And I guess it just makes me wonder. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening to my story. And if you are enjoying my story so far, then please leave a like. And if you are enjoying me, then feel free to subscribe. I make a new video every Friday. Thank you so much. Bye.